History of Hogwarts Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, often shortened to Hogwarts, was the British wizarding school located in the Scottish Highlands. It accepted magical students from Great Britain and Ireland for enrollment. It was a state-owned school funded by the Ministry of Magic. The precise location of the school could never be uncovered because it was rendered unplottable. To Muggles, the school appeared to be an old abandoned castle. Similarly, most wizarding schools' locations were protected in order to prevent their ways of teaching being revealed, as well as protect the students and schools themselves from any harm. Established around the 10th century, Hogwarts was considered to be one of the finest magical institutions in the wizarding world, though other notable schools included Beauxbatons Academy of Magic in France, the Durmstrang Institute implied to be in Northern Europe, and Ivelmorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in the United States. Children with magical abilities were enrolled at birth, and acceptance was confirmed by Owl Post at age 11. However, if the child in question was a muggle-born or a half-blood like Harry Potter with no knowledge of the wizarding world, a staff member from the school visited the child and his or her family in order to inform them of their magical heritage and existence of the wizarding world. The school's motto was Draco Dorman Nunquam Titillandus, which, translated from Latin, means Never Tickle a Sleeping Dragon. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the history of Hogwarts. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi stretch reaches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Early History Hogwarts was founded around 990 AD by four of the greatest wizards and witches of the age, Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. They each represented an aspect of personality that they wanted to bring out in new students. They also placed certain protective enchantments in place to ensure the well-being of their students, for which reason the castle and grounds had both always been protected with anti-apparition charms. Around the same time, the four founders employed the school's first caretaker, Hankerton Humble, who would often clash with Peeves, the resident poltergeist, which he would have in common with every successive caretaker after him in the history of Hogwarts. Although the four founders cooperated well for a time, shortly after founding the school, Slytherin had a falling out with the other founders about blood purity, and wanted to admit only pure-blood students. He felt pure-blood students deserved to learn magic, and those of other ancestry, such as Muggleborns and Half-Bloods, were unworthy. The other three founders all disagreed, especially Gryffindor. Slytherin left the school, but not before secretly building the Chamber of Secrets. He foretold that only his own heir would be able to open it once they arrived at the school, and the heir would unleash a murderous basilisk living inside to purge the school of all Muggleborn students. Despite the fact that founders of Hogwarts were effectively in charge of the school during their time, neither of them held the title of headmaster or headmistress of the school, as that was only used sometime after Slytherin's departure and held by another wizard, who was the first person to be entrusted the stewardship of Hogwarts Castle and the surrounding grounds after the three remaining founders passed away. Middle History According to the eventual Gryffindor house ghost, Sir Nicholas de Mimsey Porpington, because Hogwarts Castle was always intended as a safe place, the school had historically shouldered the responsibility of protecting dangerous things from falling into the wrong hands and carrying the burden of the job remarkably well, despite the fact that subsequent heads of the school and members of the faculty came to recognize how it compromised the security of the castle. Indeed, Albus Dumbledore would reiterate this truth to Harry Potter years later during their private lessons into the history of Lord Voldemort when the then headmaster described Hogwarts Castle as a stronghold of ancient magic and explained that his refusal to employ him as a teacher stemmed in part from the suspicion that the Dark Wizard would unravel more of its mysteries and take advantage of untapped stores of magic within the school for his own nefarious purposes. About 300 years after the school was founded, the Triwizard Tournament was established as an interscholastic competition between three of the most prestigious magical schools in Europe, Hogwarts, Beauxbatons in France, and Durmstrang, an undetermined Northern European country. The tournament was considered the best way for wizards and witches of different nationalities to meet and socialize. The tournament continued for six centuries until the death toll became too high. The tournament was discontinued until 1994. 
At some point in the 13th century, following the invention of flu powder by Ignatia Wildsmith and the subsequent development of the flu network, a long line of heads of the school refused to permit the school's fireplaces to be accessible this way, for fear that the castle's security could be breached. During the 1700s, there was a proposal to install an elaborate plumbing system in the castle. This threatened the secrecy of the Chamber of Secrets, forcing Corvinus Gaunt, a Slytherin student, descendant of Salazar Slytherin and Parcelmouth, to protect the entrance to the chamber by having it concealed behind plumbing fixtures and sinks in the second floor girls' bathroom, so only future heirs of Slytherin would know how to open the chamber. In 1876, then caretaker Rancorus Carpe made a spectacularly unsuccessful attempt to rid the school of Peeves by trying to bait him into a trap involving a wide variety of muggle weapons and a vast enchanted bell jar reinforced with various containment charms, which resulted in the evacuation of the castle and a three-day standoff between the vengeful poltergeist and then headmistress Eupratia Mole. In the end, the good professor agreed to sign a contract promising him additional privileges, including a weekly swim in the boys' toilets on the ground floor, pickings of stale bread from the kitchen for throwing purposes, and a new hat, to be custom-made by the Parisian witch, Madame Bonhabi. After this, Carpe went into early retirement for health reasons, and the faculty left the poltergeist in peace. 1910s Lita Lestrange was bullied at Hogwarts due to the gossip about her being an unwanted child and the tragic death of her half-brother. She encountered Newt Scamander while searching for a place to hide from her pursuers, whom she had used the dark charm Escousey on in retaliation for their malicious gossip. Newt and Lita developed a remarkably close bond, spending much time together over the holidays caring for an injured baby raven. At one point, when Albus Dumbledore was teaching students how to defend against Boggarts in Defense Against the Dark Arts class, Newt was asked to step forward and revealed that he was scared of ending up stuck with a tedious office job. Lita went soon after and showed that her Boggart was her half-brother drowning to death. Lita was later comforted by Newt near the Great Lake when she was upset by her own Boggart. He showed her one of the bow truckles he had befriended on the school grounds because he was the only one they would not hide from. 1920s on the 29th of November, 1926, the Daily Prophet reported that security had to be increased at Hogwarts in response to the growing threat of Gellert Grindelwald's impact on the global wizarding war. Measures included Headmaster Armando Dippet holding an emergency meeting with worried parents and students being sent home early. Torquil Travers and Theseus Scamander came here to seek out the current Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Albus Dumbledore, and talk to him about Grindelwald and his plans. Lita soon after walks around Hogwarts and reminisces on the past. Dumbledore finds her and they talk about their shared trauma of losing their siblings. Newton Scamander, Porpentia Goldstein, Theseus Scamander, Torquil Travers, Rudolf Spielman, Nagini, Jacob Kowalski, Yusuf Kama, and an unidentified ministry man came back to talk to Albus Dumbledore about Grindelwald's rally and the blood pact Grindelwald had made with Dumbledore. 1942-1943 school year The existence of the school was threatened twice when the Chamber of Secrets was opened. The first time it was opened was in 1942, when Tom Marvolo Riddle, the heir of Slytherin and the man who would become Lord Voldemort, opened the chamber in his fifth year. When a girl named Myrtle Warren was killed, the Ministry of Magic threatened to close the school. As Riddle spent his time away from Hogwarts in a Muggle orphanage, he did not want the school closed. His request to remain in school over the holidays was denied due to the situation he had created. Upset with himself, he framed Rubius Hagrid, and although Albus Dumbledore still suspected Riddle, Hagrid was expelled and Riddle got off without punishment. However, in 1992 the chamber was reopened, and it was discovered that Hagrid was innocent and Riddle was guilty. 1970s Throughout the entirety of the First Wizarding War, which lasted for 11 long years and caused much distress among the students, Hogwarts Castle was perhaps the only safe haven in Wizarding Britain due to the presence of Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore had risen to the post of headmaster and was the only one whom Voldemort was ever afraid of. During that time, Snape, Lupin, Sirius Black, Peter Pettigrew, as well as Lily Potter and James Potter, attended Hogwarts, and the four of them were part of the infamous Marauders, who often bullied Snape all the time until they graduated in 1978. By the end of the 1970s, Lord Voldemort's ascendancy was almost complete. 
While the Ministry of Magic did their best to both put up a fight and keep Wizardkind a secret, a true resistance to him was being concentrated in the underground organization founded by Dumbledore himself called the Order of the Phoenix. Several former students at the school went on to join the Order. 1980s On Halloween of the 1981-1982 school year, news would have reached the school of the fall of Lord Voldemort and his failed attempt at murdering the infant Harry Potter after which students and staff alike would have celebrated the fall of the Dark Lord. 1991-1992 School Year On the 1st of September 1991, Harry Potter began his career as a student at Hogwarts. Already famous for being believed to be responsible for vanquishing Lord Voldemort at the age of one, he soon began, with the help of his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, to unravel the secret of the Philosopher's Stone being kept at the school. Harry discovered that the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor, Quirinus Quirrell, was a host body for the barely alive Voldemort, who wanted to use the stone to restore himself back to his former glory and gain everlasting life. Harry, Ron, and Hermione suffered a series of difficult challenges down in the underground chambers in an attempt to stop the Philosopher's Stone from being stolen by Severus Snape. The three believed Snape was trying to steal the stone, when in reality, Quirrell was. Harry discovered Quirrell in the chambers and was able to defeat him, thwarting Voldemort in his attempt to get the stone and restoring his body. Harry managed this after realizing that Quirrell's skin burned whenever he made contact with Harry. Dumbledore stated that Lily's self-sacrifice left a mark of love in Harry, and that Quirrell was so full of hatred, greed, and ambition that he could not bear to touch a person marked by something so good. 1992-1993 School Year in 1992, the Chamber of Secrets was reopened by Ron's younger sister, Ginny, under the influence of a diary written by Tom Riddle. The diary allowed Riddle's memory to possess Ginny and act through her to open the chamber for a second time. Desiring to see Lord Voldemort and return to power, Lucius Malfoy had slipped the diary into her bundle of school books, taking advantage of her ignorance that it was a horcrux. His ulterior motive was to ruin the reputations of several great wizards, including Dumbledore and the Weasley children's father, Arthur Weasley, the latter of whom played a big role in the enactment of the Muggle Protection Act. However, Harry discovered the truth and destroyed the diary in the basilisk, thus bringing an end to these dark plots. 1993-1994 School Year In 1993, Harry's notorious godfather, Sirius Black, escaped from Azkaban, Sirius had been convicted of murdering 12 muggles and Peter Pettigrew with the Blasting Curse. He also betrayed James, Lily, and Harry Potter's whereabouts to Voldemort in his duty as their secret keeper. Because of the charges against him, he spent 12 years in a high-security cell in Azkaban. The Ministry of Magic also believed that Black was after Harry as they heard Black murmur he's at Hogwarts in his sleep. As a result, Black was thought to believe that killing Harry would bring Voldemort back to full power. Black broke into the school twice, one time almost ripping the fat lady to shreds, and another time getting close to Ron's rat, Scabbers. During the second break-in, Ron awoke, which resulted in him screaming in fright as Black loomed over him with a knife. His screams awoke the whole tower and alerted McGonagall to the incident. After this incident, security measures were further heightened. Harry, Ron, and Hermione met Black in the Shrieking Shack, along with Remus Lupin. Lupin had been a friend of Black as well as Harry's parents and Pettigrew during the time they attended Hogwarts as students. Black revealed the truth to them. He was innocent, and it was Pettigrew who had done the things Sirius had been convicted of. To frame Sirius, he had chopped off one of his fingers as a red herring, turned into his animagus form, the rat, Scabbers, and scurried off. Sirius had come back to kill Pettigrew, and now that Lupin had heard his story, he believed him and set out to help. However, Harry persuaded them to give Pettigrew to the Ministry and let the Dementors have him. As they took Pettigrew back to the castle, Pettigrew escaped and returned to Voldemort to help him return to power. With the use of a time-turner, Harry and Hermione later helped Sirius escape on Buckbeak the Hippogriff while Ron was in the hospital wing, saving both Sirius and Buckbeak's lives. 1994-1995 School Year In 1994, Hogwarts played host to the infamous Triwizard Tournament, this time with more powerful safety measures in place. It had been many years since the last tournament had been held, but in light of the advent of advanced security measures, the tournament was deemed safe. However, more dark plots were being hatched. Barty Crouch Jr. disguised as Alice Storm Mad-Eye Moody 
managed to enter Harry in the tournament by putting his name in the Goblet of Fire under the name of a fourth school, which ensured he would be chosen by the Goblet. Harry's forced involvement in this plot caused him great misery at Hogwarts, as the representatives for Bobatons and Durmstrang, as well as many Hogwarts students, believed he hoodwinked the Goblet and entered himself in the tournament. It was because of Crouch Jr. and his influence over certain house elves that Harry ended up surviving until the end of the tournament and reaching the goal of the third task, along with fellow Hogwarts student Cedric Diggory. On Voldemort's orders, Diggory was killed by Pettigrew, and Harry was surrounded by Death Eaters in Little Hangleton Graveyard. Voldemort was brought back to his physical form using Harry's blood. Voldemort attempted to torture and humiliate Harry by means of the unforgivable curses. He used the Cruciatus Curse twice on Harry and the Imperious Curse once. Harry was able to resist the latter. Harry escaped and succeeded in alerting all of Voldemort's enemies, Dumbledore in particular, that he had returned. Dumbledore re-established the Order of the Phoenix one hour after he was alerted. However, many, including the Minister of Magic Cornelius Fudge, chose not to believe him. 1995-1996 School Year Hogwarts was further threatened when the Ministry of Magic began implementing educational decrees in 1995 as part of a conspiracy to discredit and ruin Dumbledore and Harry. Dolores Umbridge, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher and Minister Fudge's undersecretary, was the center of this plan. By way of these educational decrees, she slowly took control of Hogwarts, eventually replacing Dumbledore as headmistress. However, it was through the cunning of Hermione and the other members of Dumbledore's army, which was founded by her, Ron, and Harry, that Umbridge was overthrown. The Ministry had no choice but to accept that Voldemort had returned. Umbridge was then removed from Hogwarts, and Dumbledore was reinstated. 1996-1997 School Year Through the 1996-1997 school year, the new Minister for Magic, Rufus Scrimgore, ordered Aurors to guard Hogwarts for protection from dark forces, along with the castle's defenses being fortified in many ways. In 1997, Hogwarts was attacked by a mob of Death Eaters. Lucius Malfoy's son Draco was forced into the service of Lord Voldemort for fear of his and his family's lives. As a result, Headmaster Dumbledore's safety was compromised and he was killed by Severus Snape, in a secret coup arranged in advance between them. Following this horrible tragedy, Professor Minerva McGonagall was appointed acting headmistress, though the security of the school hung by a thread. There was no certainty that Hogwarts would remain open. The faculty agreed to follow established procedures and let the school governors ultimately decide what to do. Throughout the year, students were taken out of school by their families for safety and fear reasons, such as Eloise Midgen and Hannah Abbott, while two of Draco's botched attempts to assassinate Dumbledore ended up dangerously harming Katie Bell and Ronald Weasley which only served in increasing the anxiety in the atmosphere. However, when Draco succeeded in allowing the Death Eater's entrance, the full effect came to be when many parents rushed their children home, fearing that even Hogwarts, reputably the safest location in the wizarding world, was no longer safe from Voldemort. 1997 to 1998 school year. Regardless of the school governor's decisions, with the takeover of the ministry by Voldemort, attendance at Hogwarts was mandatory for all eligible children. New militaristic requirements were established, such as requiring students to provide proof of blood status. This enabled Voldemort to keep an eye on the entire wizarding world from a young age and identify Muggleborns, including 11-year-old children who have no knowledge of their magical nature before their forced identification. Such youngsters faced the possibility of never entering Hogwarts nor returning to their homes ever again. Academic instruction at Hogwarts became corrupted, Muggle studies became a required subject, and instruction in it took a new tack with an anti-Muggle bias, while defense against the dark arts had simply become dark arts. Students were taught illegal curses outright, with older students being instructed to practice curses on underclassmen. Snape was appointed headmaster, and Electo and Amicus Caro, teachers of Muggle studies and dark arts respectively, had been assigned as his deputies. It was a time of great terror in which no one could be certain who was friend or foe. Battle of Hogwarts In May 1998, the Battle of Hogwarts took place as one of its most infamous alumni, Tom Riddle, better known by then as Lord Voldemort, returned to attack the school and subdue or destroy its defenders. Voldemort claimed he had no desire to harm the school or its students, but he and his Death Eaters spared no one who opposed them, and recklessly damaged the school during their assault. 
Numerous students, staff, parents, graduates, and friends of Hogwarts rose to the school's defense in its hour of need, including the notorious poltergeist Peeves. Thanks to Harry Potter, Lord Voldemort was permanently destroyed and his Death Eaters disbanded forever. Minerva McGonagall became the headmistress of the school. Harry was celebrated as a true hero. Hogwarts sustained extensive damage during the battle. Multiple areas of the main building and adjacent areas were set on fire or blown up, and the Quidditch pitch was largely destroyed by fire. After the battle, Hogwarts was repaired. Some students, such as Hermione Granger, returned to the school in 1998 to complete their education. Late 2000s and early 2010s Ten years after the Battle of Hogwarts, normal school life had resumed with McGonagall still as headmistress and Hagrid still as care of magical creatures professor and keeper of keys and grounds, and Neville Longbottom had become the herbology professor. Late 2010s and early 2020s By 2017, many descendants of previous students were now coming to Hogwarts as new pupils, such as Albus Potter, Scorpius Malfoy, and Rose Granger Weasley. In their fourth year in 2020, Albus and Scorpius illegally used a time-turner to travel back in time and caused the timeline to deviate, therefore witnessing several alternate versions of Hogwarts in the 2020s, including a version of which Dolores Umbridge was the head in a world where Voldemort had won the Battle of Hogwarts. Nevertheless, they were eventually successful in correcting the timeline and restoring peace to Hogwarts. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.